What's up? It's your boy Batosa369, and I'm here to bring you the Invisible Descent achievement for GoldenEye Reloaded, one of the hardest achievements in the game. And I've heard so many people talk about how they can't get it, and they want help getting it, and they want me to jump in there and show you how we do it. And I guarantee you, I did this for about two hours straight trying to get this achievement for you guys. And I'm just so proud to bring it to you right now. As you can tell, I'd done it a lot. I wasn't scared to go up to anybody and just shebang right in the back of the head. I was just rolling through the level. Like this part of the mission, I probably did it at least 10 or 12 times. Because you got to do everything perfectly. And if you follow this guy and do exactly what I do, you'll have no trouble getting this. That guy was an idiot. If you'll rewind it 8 seconds and look, that guy looked at me twice right in the face and was like, Sup, bro? And did not alert him at all. Anyway... These guys in this room, you can see all the red dots on the map. That's how you can tell where people are going. They all go in the same kind of pattern. Every 10 or 12 seconds they'll move. This guy right here is just in the middle of everything. All in everybody's business. You can just walk out and take him out when everyone's turned around. And then run like you stole his prescription drugs or something. Over here, this guy's going to come down the steps. And it looks like he's going to come this way. But he actually just turns around to check out the broken Pepsi machine. Or whatever that thing is that they keep hammering on. I don't know, it's like a Pepsi machine factory in here or something, and they're all just twiddling with them and they're broken. You shoot those guys real quick, like a boss, took them out real quick. My aim probably got ten times better just doing this mission because you have to do it so perfect. And you gotta be like a magician here and pop this guy on the back of the head when he's not looking. But the trick to this is just to be like a wizard and kind of like scoot around and not let anyone see you. You just gotta be this stealthy wizard. And I will reference the wizard multiple times because I felt like a champion afterwards. And I think I deserve to be able to say wizard as many times as I want in this video. You want to go through the vent after these guys pass by. You want to do it all in one fluid motion. You don't want to like stop and wait because you can throw off the whole, you know, I, like I guess the whole feeling of the mission, the whole karma you got going on. It's like one fluid motion. You want to roll up on this guy as he's turning to go the other way, smack him in the back of the head, no big deal. These two guys are like just dicking around over here in the corner and I was really scared to kill him at first. Like you can tell I'm kind of like, I don't know. And then I kind of finally shot that guy, and I was like, oh, well, that guy's just stupid. Look, they're hitting the Pepsi machines that are broken. I don't understand. You can always tell the guys that are just going to get destroyed by the ones that are smacking the Pepsi machines for no reason. But always kill the guy that's not hitting the Pepsi machine first. Okay, this part I was kind of nervous because I'd made it a little ways, and there was no checkpoint. You, There's no checkpoint for like five minutes, so you have to do this all in one go. There's no hoping and restarting checkpoints until after it's saved and it doesn't save for a while so this is me being an idiot i was such a poo bear look at me i'm like poo bearing around all the corners like hey, i wonder what's going on over there and I, then i noticed that this guy's standing still so i was like oh i'll go kill him and then i was like oh snap derp, 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 derp. i'm just kidding i'm not gonna do the benny hill music but i dipped out quick i like i did the crouch run where you're like crouching and you're running at the same time oh yeah burning them calories Anyway, this guy starts coming back, and you have to kill him when he turns back around. And I was really scared he was just going to come back up here after me like he'd heard something. But he didn't, and I'm just, you know, chilling. Alright, I see him heading back on the map, which you should always check your map and see where people are going. And then I make the champion wizard shot. Got him! Okay, this guy still doesn't know what's going on. He didn't hear his buddy fall over, which should have been pretty loud in my opinion. Didn't hear it. Here's your first checkpoint. Once you get here, you're safe. As long as you haven't found anybody, but wait, there's a surprise. Check this out. How are you a champion? Dun 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 one shot. Two shot champion? That's like a wizard right there. That's a straight up wizard. Okay. Anyway, after you make it through that, hope you made it through that. You get the second part. It's saved, so if you mess up at this point, you can restart. Look at this guy. God, he is so focused on the mission. He did not even see me open that door. What a champion. I'd hire him for security. Totally. Okay. This next area is a play place where they tell you to use your night vision goggles. Don't do that. I actually put a little lull section at the end to show you why you shouldn't do that. But anyway, this guy, if you have auto aim on or aim assist, it'll help you hit him in the head. You really want to do that. This guy right here, don't go down after him right away unless you want to get, you want to get like a shot off with your night vision goggles. The easiest way to see his head. Just get really lucky. If you mess up, just restart the checkpoint. You're going to have three guys come down and try to, like, you know, mess your day up and all that. But they're actually going to start hitting Pepsi machines again, which I, I, I guess I'm glad they did that. 
Because if they had walked around, it would have really annoyed me. But I was confused. I was like, are you seriously hitting a Pepsi machine right now, bro? Are you... There's like three dead guys right beside you. And you're hitting the machine. Anyway. You want to roll around here. I didn't pull out the night vision goggles because I can't stand them. I just kind of felt my way around like Helen Keller. You know what I mean? Just kind of rolled around with my hands. And this guy, he's just oblivious to life. He wants his money back. Roll up on him. Push the right stick in. And just snap his neck. Alright, the other two guys, one's actually not hitting the Pepsi machine. He's actually coordinating the computer that hit, lets the other guy hit the Pepsi machine. So you're going to want to make a long range um, silent shot on him. And make sure you don't kill that guy. You want to kill the one on the left. You see him right there on the computer? Just get a good shot lined up. He won't move much. That guy doesn't know what's going on. Hey, bro. What's up? Smack! Okay, he's out. You're close to your next checkpoint. You're just going to want to roll through to this next door. And this was actually in one run. I actually did not mess up after I got to this point. So I had no clue what was coming. And uh, you'll notice me just being absolute shenanigan poo bear right here. I did not know what to do. I was like, oh, should I shoot that guy? Oh. And I finally shoot him once his head goes over the reticle. And um, the next guy is just kind of chilling. I, I didn't expect him to be chilling like he was. But he's just chilling, just typing on the computer. I mean, checking his Facebook in the middle of a meltdown in a reactor or whatever we're in. I guess a bunker. We're in a bunker, right? Yeah, we're in a bunker. So that guy's done, and there's one dude just chilling. I tried to go through the door. I don't care. Y'all can make fun of me all you want. I wanted to go through the door. It's all good. And then I tried to walk through the glass like a freaking wizard. I was going to wizard through the glass all of a sudden. Didn't work out. This last guy was so scared. Look at me. I was like, um, uh. I waited till his red dot moved, actually. It takes a little while, though. But he does. He eventually moves, and you want to just scoot on down there like Scoots McGee. This is as fast as I can actually go. I'm running. I'm literally running a marathon in crouch mode right now, trying to catch up to him. And then I'm going to teach him Spanish real quick. Got him. Okay. This is the next checkpoint after you get through here. You're going to want to go to this door. And they make you do the awkward tap left trigger, right trigger deal. Which I guess would be difficult if someone was shooting at you or whatever. But right now, it's just like, alright, whatever. So you jump down here. And a little explosion goes off. And you're in the next area. So the next area is going to be the elevator shaft is down. You want to shoot this guy but not get out. Do not get out. I said do not get out. You want to wait. This guy's got a flashlight and like some kind of crazy assault rifle. He's going to come around the corner and I am going to hide. And he's not going to question why his buddy's dead. He's just going to kind of glance at him and be like, Oh, that must have happened from falling stalagmites or something. And then he's going to turn around and start heading back the other way. Once he does start heading back the other way, you're going to want to jump out. And you're gonna want to ninja him right in the back of the head, just just like just like you're balling right now. Done. Fluid motion, right in the neck. It doesn't sound that painful actually. I think I could take that hit. I wouldn't die, but I don't know. A lot of noises try to scare you, but I had heard them so many times. I was just like, screw you, screw you. I don't even want to hear it. Uh, this whole next area is in one run. I did not mess up. I'm not gonna lie to you. This third part, I was nervous the whole time. I was like, oh my gosh, if I get this achievement. I will freaking explode with excitement all over the place. Alright, so you just want to follow the yellow, you know, meter things that tell you where to go. That's little checkpoint meters. They don't actually save your game every time you hit them, so don't think they do. They just tell you which way to go. These guys are just kind of chilling. You're just going to want to be really careful. That guy is yet again at the Pepsi machine, knocking it out, trying to get his money back all day, every day. Just shoot him in the head. For some reason, they don't notice. And then most of them, otherwise, are going to be just chilling on the computer, just watching things. And this gun is really accurate. It's really sad how accurate that is, but I love it. That's one of my favorite things about the game is how nice the handguns are. Um, there's guys in the middle, but don't worry about them. This guy was actually really annoying. I didn't know what to do, and I was like, man, I hope they don't notice me if I do this. But I got kind of a lucky shot on him right here when he was watching the fire for some reason. I'm that guy, too, though, where if I saw fire, I'd probably go up to it and just kind of stare at it and be like, oh, that's really neat. So that's probably me. I'd probably have died there, staring at the fire like an idiot. The whole trick is to get around the level right here, and you're going to want to go up the stairs and down the stairs, you know, to try to make it to the other side, because that's where your destination is. And you're going to roll up on these guys, and this is where I almost mess up. Oh my gosh. I, I crapped a brick right about now. Watch this. I was like, oh, 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 he didn't see me. Oh, oh, he didn't see me. And then I peek around the corner again, and I had to shoot him. I didn't even know it was around the corner, but... You guessed it, 
two guys frustrated with the Pepsi company over some shenanigans. And you want to get the guy on the left first, I, I assume, because he looks like he's looking at the guy on the right. I'm not sure. It's like he's checking him out. So you just shoot him first when his head goes in the reticle. You got to practice with the gun a little bit before you can do all that. You're not just going to all of a sudden hit people in the head all day. I, I did a long time before I got it to work. Then this last guy, get the silent kill. This will help you work on your silent kills for sure. That 30 for that one achievement. It will definitely help you get that. Um, you're really close now. This is when I got extremely nervous. This is like uber nervous at this point. And I looked on the map and only saw like three people left. I was like, oh my gosh. This guy right here. I almost lost my supper because of this guy because I thought he was just going to turn and go back the other way but if you look on the map you can see him and he's clearly coming this way and I was like oh my god run away it's like Black Friday at Walmart and somebody's got a gun get away now oh my gosh but he does turn around and go the other way and I actually was a good Samaritan here I was like you know what if you're not going to get in my way I'm not going to shoot you buddy and I thought he was going to turn around once or twice I was like you get, you get, you, you, you good you good you, you good and then, and then I was like, oh, you good? You good? Okay, you're good. All right, so this is pretty much it right here. There's one more guy. I didn't even actually see him. I saw his dot, but I was like, no, nah, he's not. Nah, I'm good. This is actually the server room entrance. So roll up in here, guys, and you will have earned the hardest achievement, in my opinion, in the game that doesn't cause for 007 difficulty. And just as soon as you open the door, it should pop up. I did a victory dance and I pretty much splooged everywhere with my gun. I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. And here's the lulls, guys, just in case anyone stood around. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, I don't, I can't see. Freaking, why does it say you stupid knight? I can't, ah, uh, I get, I, oh, son of a, oh, okay, alright. I got this, I got this, alright. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Alright. Why are there eight people now? Oh my god. There were three a second ago. Freaking. Um. Okay. They won't see me. <laughs> Stick around here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god! 